Bob, the Wi-Fi isn't working up here again. Can you restart the router? I already did, honey. I need to call the company and have them come out. Hold on a second, Bob. Meet the Smiths. They're like your average family. Except, well, a lot, lot smaller. And they've got a weird gas pump in their house. But they've still got big Wi-Fi problems. See, when they moved into this three-story house, their internet service provider installed their modem right in the bottom corner of their home. Yes, that's a piece of chocolate. Just go with it. The basic ISP-provided router gets coverage on the first and some of the second floor. But that third floor? Ma'am, I can't connect to the Fortnite servers. Yeah, the signal is very weak up there. That's where the newest crop of mesh Wi-Fi router systems come in. They help bring Wi-Fi to those dead spots. Whether you live in an older three-story house like this, or a oddly shaped city apartment, or a suburban house with a patio, a backyard, and a basement, a mesh can help. I've been testing six different options in a real size house to find the best one. Uh, first, what the f is a mesh network? Whoa, Bob. It's a network created with multiple routers that communicate with each other to give you better wireless range and speed. You connect the main mesh Wi-Fi router, in this case, a piece of gum, to your home's modem via an ethernet cord. Then you plug these nodes into wall outlets around your house in the areas you want to spread the Wi-Fi to. Yes, those are white Tic Tacs, but that's sort of what these things look like. Then, after you've gone through the really simple setup process on your smartphone, the main mesh Wi-Fi router connects wirelessly to those other nodes to create a single wireless network that covers your entire home. Then, when you connect your devices to that network, they get an internet connection from the nearest node or router. So that iPad in Timmy's room will automatically connect to the node on the third floor. And if things work right, the speeds up there will be nearly as fast as the speeds on the first floor. Boom! Fortnite with full signal. This all sounds great, but which mesh Wi-Fi system do we buy? I tested six of the latest options in my townhouse. Plume, Netgear Orbi, Linksys Velop, Google Wi-Fi, Eero, and Samsung SmartThings. I tested three packs from each of the companies, that is one main mesh router and two nodes. The Eero and the Orbi are my top picks. Both performed really well. On the floors where I had a node, I got nearly 100 megabits per second upload and download speeds, the same as I got on the ground floor. Compare that to the router which came with my FIO service, which can only deliver 10 to 20 megabits per second on the top floor. Both smartphone companion apps had parental controls and other types of features. I preferred Eero's app though. But Netgear has a new trick. It sells a node that doubles as an Alexa-powered smart speaker, and it sounds pretty good. Alexa, play Our House. Our house. <laughs> One more thing, Wi-Fi helper. How many nodes do we need and where do we place them? Space the main router and nodes evenly through your house, favoring the areas where you spend the most time on your devices. If you have an apartment with some dead zones, go with a two-pack. If you have a house like the Smiths, go with a three-pack. The Orbi two-pack costs $200, and the three-pack, $300. The Eero two-pack costs $300, and the three-pack, $400. No matter which one you choose, you'll quickly find that even just with one node, those home Wi-Fi blackouts will be a thing of the past. Unless you want them. Dinner's ready. Dinner is ready. Oh, look. I can turn off internet access in this app. Done. Man, the internet.